Hi, my name's Sue Saunders and I'm a PDHPE teacher at Freshwater Senior Campus. Uh, so hi Year 12, we're just putting a video uh, together today to help you with your Core 1 assessment task. And so I'll just run you through a few little helpful hints that we've put on the masterclass and check that out so as you can uh, find these helpful hints. So this is the assessment, the um, important things on your assessment notification are to remember what line you are in, find out what your Turnitin code is and check which period you're doing the in-class part of the assessment. So on uh, the masterclass, I put up this blurb and this blurb has four different points and four different links associated with it. So have a read of it. Uh, the 2018 question is the question that we all did in class um, and you did for homework and did some peer and self marking of that question. It's a very similar question to part B. And so I thought we'd have a look at the sample answer in that today. Uh, the progress check is an important one for you to do, progress check too, because it has two questions on CVD in there. Again, similar questions that are in your um, assessment. And I think the important thing there is to make sure you go in and do the marking of those uh, those progress checks, because as you know, the videos take you through the whole marking progress uh, process, and we're not doing the marking of that one. Uh, there's a table, little helpful hint will show you that because I think that's a great way to organise your thoughts for that uh, part A question. And then there is a sample response that some students found on PDHP.net. Uh, it's on the roles of individuals, communities and governments, but it's on rural and remote. But you might find it's a very in-depth answer, probably a little bit too in-depth. Worth having a look though to see how someone else has written about this topic. So here are the links. The first link is to that 2018 question that we've done. The second one is to progress check two. Then we're going to have a look at this little table that might be just a helpful hint and that's the in-depth um, answer that we talked about. So here's uh, just a really basic table that will help you organise your thoughts. You don't know which one of these uh, chronic illnesses you are going to be looking at. In, it will be drawn out of a hat on the day that you do your in-class. You do know that you've got these questions. We'll have a look at those really briefly in a minute. But don't need to write all the answers for all the different ones. Just put some thoughts down here in the different boxes and that will help you organise your thoughts so you're ready to answer whichever question it is that you get allocated on the day. So for instance, if you're doing two groups, put your two groups in for each one of the um, illnesses and link it to why that group has that illness. And so here we're just having a quick look at each of those three questions. What I really want to draw your attention to is the difference between getting the top mark and getting the next mark down. So in the top mark here, it's only an outline. It's a sketch in general terms. You must, though, do the two groups. If you don't, you won't get the three marks. And you must link that group to the condition. You can't just say this is a condition that they get. Why do they get it? Why are they more at risk of that condition? Not too much depth, but it must have that link. The second one, then, describe the determinants of health. And this is the important bit here. To get the top mark, you need to put the how and why they affect this condition. So having a look at that, the difference between these top two marks is the fact that you address it how they affect the allocated preventable conditions. So you all know the determinants of health and you've all looked at which ones affect which condition, but how do they affect that? And then the last one is an explained question. So let's have a look here at what the cause is and what the effect that you need to look at. So the cause here is the risk and protective factors and uh, the effect is on the disease. So how do the risk and protective factors uh, relate to the disease? To get that top mark there, that five marks, you must make sure you do both risk and protective factors. You must have a range of examples there and make sure you make that um, clear link to the condition. How does that risk factor put you more at risk or is there a combination of different factors that might put you more at risk? Now let's have a quick look at part B. So this is the uh, hand in task. The difference in this task than the one you did for homework is that you must consider the social determinants. Now the social determinants, sociocultural, socioeconomic and uh, environmental are the social determinants of health. We're not looking at there's individual determinants here. So that one you need to consider those and you need to make sure you use the Deadly Choices article uh, in your response. You've got that article, you can go and research it a little bit further, but use that in your response. Uh, you can quote it, 
uh, put it in inverted commas, um, use any sort of quotes that you have, or just discuss it as you're an example. You don't always need quotes. It is an explained question, so make sure you do link that, the role, with health and equity. That's what you're looking for there. A uh, quick look at the marking criteria, we've, met, we've divided it down into 12, 11, 10 and 9. We want you all to get in those top bands, uh, but we've created a difference between each one. The big difference between these two, and you'll find one word in particular that it makes a difference, consistently. You must consistently demonstrate that relationship in individuals, uh, communities and governments. You, don't, you can't just do really well with one or two and get the marks, you need to do it consistently throughout. Uh, and make sure you make that cause and effect really obvious. All these top bands need really specific examples from the article, so make sure you've got those as well. Looking down a little bit further, if you can't really get the determinants, you're not really making it clear how the determinants are engaged in that process, then you'll be down in that sort of 10 marks, you might imply that, and a little bit less in this one here. So I thought I'd just have a look then at this sample answer. Remember the sample answer, and this is the one that you had a look at for um, your homework task, the 2018 question. It's not a very good response, so please don't see it as that, but it's a good guide to how you might structure your response. So it starts with an introductory statement. Now, if you're going to make a statement, don't repeat the question. Make it say something. What's your feeling about this topic? And here I've just highlighted the fact they must play a role to positively change the health and equity. So they're saying something a little bit there. Have a think about it. Feel a bit passionate about what you're saying there. Set your essay up for being a really good response. Then they've got a little introduction there, and the introduction is just really about um, the actual health inequities that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people face. So you might want to start with that and then move into a one paragraph on each of the roles. In this one they've started with governments, not a bad way to start, big umbrella, moving down to communities and then individuals. A couple of other things that I've highlighted. Close the gap is their example. They haven't really made any significance of that example or really linked it at all to the health inequities. Make sure you do that. It's a really important part of the process. When you're looking down here, I highlighted education because uh, even though they weren't talking about determinants here, you can see that the education programs about smoking is looking at that socioeconomic uh, determinant of education. And then uh, just down the bottom, you can also see here they're trying to link it to infant mortality, tackling uh, domestic violence, which are up here in the actual um, health inequities that ATSI people face. Make sure you link it specifically to those uh, health inequities. Show us what you know in that um, answer and uh, I know you're going to smash it. So good luck and uh, see you back in class. Okay.